Hello, trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. My name is Renee Garcia, and uh, I'm gonna make a confession to you guys. This is like take infinity of this video. <laughs> I've already tried to do this so many times, and it really sucks because each time I have to draw the diagram all over again because I scribble all over it. But anyway, fingers crossed, this is the one I am committed to getting this right. So let's hope this is uh, my last try y'all remember to like this video and comment below my world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for some of my reprogramming stickers and also the teachable link for the course down below if you want to check that out and yes today's lesson I'm super excited for this one because I actually saw this chart a number of years ago and it really didn't resonate with me I didn't quite get what the whole thing was. There were some big missing pieces in this chart. It's called an Ikigai chart. It's the Japanese formula for happiness. And it is very much in line with trans serving concepts. So I found it again the other day. And when I looked at it through my trans surfing filter, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is pretty much a diagram of trans serving. So I'm going to get into it and I'm going to explain exactly what it is through the trans surfing perspective and help you fill in some of the blanks of your life. If something's missing, you will know exactly what it is by looking at this chart. So again, Ikigai, the Japanese formula for happiness, essentially what the idea is, is that if you can incorporate all of these um all of these things all of these requirements you will have your goal this is ikigai but i'm just going to say goal here for the sake of using transurfing terminology you will have your goal and remember it's actionable steps towards your goal, that's where we find happiness, right? Our happiness is found taking the actionable steps towards our goal. It's not in the actual achievement of the goal. That's just kind of like icing on the cake. So what are the requirements then? Well, we have a number of them, what you love. Obviously this is what you feel you, you, you res your heart resonates with, right? What the world needs from a trans surfing perspective, this is frailing. What you can be paid for. This is your skill set. This is what is intended for you and what you are good at. Same thing, right? So if you combine two of these, you get a product. But if you are only living with a couple of these at one time or even three, you're missing one of the components and you aren't going to be in exact resonance with what um, you with what with your goal. So if you are good at something, okay, and also you are involved with something that you can be paid for, what is this exactly? This is your profession, right? This is. Um, what you do for money. This is your actual job. Okay, so if you combine what you can be paid for with what the world needs, this is your vocation or rather your skill set or your line of work, okay? What the world needs and what you love. If you are involved with what you love and what the world needs, this is your mission. Okay, and if you are involved with what you love and what you are good at, this is your passion. Okay, so here's the thing. Again, if you are involved with a couple of these or even up to three, but you're missing one of the components, you're going to be you're, you're going to be struggling somewhere. So if you're struggling right now and you are not in a place of Ikigai, if you do not have your exact goal, then it's time to look at what is missing. So from a practical standpoint, telling my own story before I found reality transurfing, I was in a place of satisfaction, but 
feelings of uselessness, right? This is for those of you that know my story, that morning that I woke up and I took a shower and I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought, God, I'm satisfied for the most part. I have, you know, my finances in order. I feel like I've succeeded at something that was my profession at the time. And my life for the most part is quote unquote good, but I was feeling a real extreme sense of uselessness. But what impact am I making on the world? What is my legacy that I'm going to leave behind? How am I going to affect those around me and my world? So I had these two, right? I loved my business and I was good at it. Um, and even, you know, I could be paid for it, but it definitely wasn't what the world needed. My partner now, he was more in this place before he found trans surfing and decided to embark on his own journey of entrepreneurship. He was comfortable, but feelings of emptiness. Again, he had a corporate job. He was paid very, very well, what he could be paid for and what he was good at, but he didn't love it. And it really wasn't what the world needed. Now he has transitioned and he's incorporating all of these components. And that is his, um, his non-alcoholic drink product that he feels is a benefit to the world, right? Some, but something that someone can drink if they're not drinking alcohol, but they're out at a party or a bar. So he knows he can be paid for it. He knows he's good Good at it. He was in the drink industry for 20 years. He loves this product, his own business, being an entrepreneur, and it's what the world needs. Okay, so up here, delight and fullness, but no wealth. This is the classic starving artist, right? This is someone that is involved with what they love and what the world needs, but not necessarily what he can be paid for. Maybe what he's good at, absolutely, but there's this missing, right? So this is someone that is really involved with heart stuff, but the mind isn't there. The mind isn't there and they're not able to monetize. Down here, excitement and complacency, but sense of uncertainty. This is like, um, you know, this is a, a confession. I'm sure some of you have heard this um, on, my, on some of the podcasts that I've given, but I lost a tremendous amount of money during the crypto boom. I made a lot of money, but I also lost a lot of money. And this is exactly what happened to me, right? I was excited. I dove in head first. Um, again, the money was super good. The, what the world needed, right? This this alternative in this alternative um, currency, but it wasn't what I was good at. It wasn't my thing, right? And I definitely didn't love it. It was more for the money. So when I got into this section, there was also a very big imbalance, if you want to call it that. So again, comfortable but feelings of emptiness. This is you involved with your profession. Passion, um, delight and fullness, but no wealth, mission, satisfaction, but feelings of uselessness involved with your passion. But again, missing some of the key components and excitement and complacency, but sense of uncertainty. So what do you need to fill in the blanks? So this is a really, really good way to break it down for yourself today, especially if you apply a layer over this of trans surfing. So again, what you love, this is your heart. What you can be paid for, this is your mind. What you are good at, this is your skill set. And what the world needs, this is frailing. So if you can figure out where to fill in the missing part of what it is you're doing. So for me, and I'll use this as an example before I part ways with y'all, I love trans surfing. I love doing this. I've been doing this a number of years now, about five years. I'm good at it. I'm developing the skill set. It's absolutely what I love big time. And it's what the world needs. But I struggled a little bit with what you can be paid for. First of all, I didn't know the path to monetizing and also there was a little bit of a moral challenge in there that was keeping me from monetizing for a very long time, offering courses, giving one-on-one, -on -one, all that sort of stuff. So I knew that in order for me to continue and in order for me to really feel that I have found my ikigai, my goal, and I am taking actionable steps and feeling that all those pieces are filled in, that nothing's missing 
missing, I absolutely had to work out what I can be paid for. And since doing this with the Teachable course, I feel a lot better about putting my time and energy into this because I am fulfilling all of these requirements here. So which one is missing for you? Are you the artist? Are you the corporate person that isn't doing what you love or what the world needs more of? What is missing and how can you fill in these blanks? And I absolutely feel 100% the true way to happiness is to be in line with your goal, taking actionable steps and really dialed into that fully. Without that, without the actionable steps, without your goal, it is going to be really, really challenging for you to feel purpose and true fulfillment. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye guys.